in this lecture uh, we will discuss how to find the DTFT of the unit timbal sequence that is del of n so very basic signal uh, we will see uh, what is a is a transform of the signal and this e of n uh, sorry this del of n is defined as del of n is equal to 1 for n is equal to 0 and 0 for n not equal to 0 means graphically you can represent uh, the signal like this so because this signal impulse signal exists only when n is equal to 0 and n is equal to 0 the function magnitude is 1 and all other values the function magnitude is 0 now uh, in order to find out the is a transform we need to use the standard formula that is x of z is equal to sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z raised to minus n but in this particular case the signal exists only at n is equal to 0 so we don't want to find the summation from minus infinity to infinity so I can uh, write the formula uh, x of z is equal to del of n into z raised to minus n at n is equal to 0 because the signal exists only at n is equal to 0 so we don't want to evaluate it from minus infinity to infinity so you will get uh, x of z is equal to 1 means the is a transform of del of n can be written as 1 and if you think about the ROC a region of convergence uh, here you can see that this is the z plane and the function is uh, is a transform of the signal is 1 means the ROC of the signal is ROC of the signal is entire z plane okay uh, it can be any value of z so I can say that it's all z okay this equation is valid for all values of z irrespective of z the is a transform is 1 means is a transform x is at the entire is a plane okay there is no restriction that's about uh, the del of n signal so, so this is a standard uh, signal so we need to remember this result okay uh, we'll, now we'll discuss the next question which is again a slightly modified version of this impulse signal which is uh, del of n minus m means as a discrete time signal okay uh, and you can define the signal del of n minus m is equal to 1 when n minus m is equal to 0 or you can say n is equal to m and 0 when n not equal to m so in this particular graph uh, assume that this is a point where n is equal to m and assume that this is a point 0 and at n is equal to m the function magnitude is 1 so at this particular point the function magnitude is 1 this is the signal del of n minus m so in order to find the DTFT of the signal we need to use this formula okay the standard notation and here the summation is from minus infinity to infinity and the signal x of n that is del of n minus 1 n minus m x is only when n is equal to m so we don't want to find the summation for the entire range so I can write the equation like this uh, x of z we can evaluate uh, the law of n minus m z raised to minus n when n is equal to m so at n is equal to m at n is equal to m if you substitute m minus m the function magnitude is 1 so in place of n if you substitute m you will get it becomes z raised to minus m ok so this is the answer and uh, if you think about the ROC region of convergence ok and this is a plane and you can think that uh, if this m value is positive ok if m value positive means you will get uh, something like this 1 by for example if m is equal to 2 so you will get z square means if the z value is 0 then it becomes tending to infinity means z transform 
does not exist okay means if m value is positive and you can see that if z is equal to 0 and the function value tending to infinity means it's a transform does not exist and if m value is negative for example m value is minus 3 if m value is minus 3 you will get uh, the equation becomes z raised to 3 and in this case if uh, z is equal to infinity the result is also going to infinity so there are two cases we need to consider that's uh, the is a transform of del of n minus m we can say it's all as all is it except at z is equal to 0 if m greater than 0 and we already explained this when z is equal to 0 what happens or if m is greater than 0 uh, the result can be infinity okay so in that particular case uh, the ROC region of convergence region of convergence is all is said except at z is equal to 0 if m is gr greater than 0 in other case if m less than 0 so we already mentioned if m less than 0 that is for example minus 3 you go to the point that if z is equal to infinity the result becomes infinity so is a transform does not exist uh, at z is equal to infinity if m less than 0 so that's all about the ROC of this particular signal okay so entire is a plane except at z is equal to 0 if m uh, greater than 0 and uh, all is it except at z is equal to infinity if m less than 0 so two case we need to consider okay next we will uh, think about uh, the is a transform of the signal uh, e on in uh, step sequence that is u of n okay uh, u of n means as a standard uh, step signal so we can define u of n like this as equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 the function magnitude is 1 otherwise 0 okay again uh, plot the signal like this and the function magnitude is 1 for n is equal to 0 onwards and up to infinity and minus 1 minus 2 up to minus infinity the function magnitude is 0 so this is a signal and I need to use this formula uh, to find the is a transform and in place of x of n we need to substitute e of n so we don't want to evaluate from minus infinity to infinity uh, you can evaluate at uh, x of z is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity in place of uh, x of n this is u of n and from 0 to infinity the function magnitude is 1 so there's only 1 into is raised to minus n and you can apply the summation formula and the summation formula uh, you are familiar with the summation formula uh, if it is from 0 to infinity uh, k raised to n you can write 1 by 1 minus k if modulus of k is less than 1 so based on this I can uh, write it becomes 1 minus one minus is a raised to minus 1 and the ROC you can write uh, modulus of z raised to minus 1 less than 1 okay because this equation is actually uh, sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity z raised to minus 1 the whole ratio n. so that's why I can write like this okay and if you rearrange this uh, you can see that ROC or if you rearrange this it becomes z by z minus 1 and the ROC you can write uh, 1 by modulus of z less than 1 or you can write ROC is equal to uh, 1 less than modulus of z or if you rearrange this modulus of z greater than 1 means if you take this ROC or you can uh, okay uh, ROC means this is a point 1 and you can construct a circle with radius 1 okay so radius of this circle is 1 that's the meaning of modulus of z is greater than 1 and the ROC is greater than 1 so this is a circle and it's greater than 1 means outside this unit circle so this is the ROC okay uh, now we'll see uh, one more way we can do this particular problem 
uh, I'll show you how we can do this problem. Okay. Uh, you are also familiar with this standard signal uh, that is uh, a raised to n into u of n. So you are familiar with the result uh, a raised to n into u of n is equal to z by z minus a or in other ways you can say 1 by 1 minus a is raised to minus 1 when modulus of z is greater than a. By using this also I can find out the z transform. So I now I need to find out the z transform of u of n. Here a is equal to 1 and z transform I can write z transform I can write it's simply z by z minus 1 or it's 1 by 1 minus z raised to minus 1 and ROC you can write modulus of z greater than 1. So, in this way also I can uh, try this problem. Okay. And now I will uh, discuss another question uh, which is uh, u of minus u of minus and minus 1 is very important uh, there is a minus. Okay. There can be question uh, without this minus. So, always uh, check whether there is a minus at the initial stage. So, minus u of minus and minus 1. So, the same problem you can uh, evaluate by using this uh, SA transform formula okay? because u of n uh, this signal uh, you can uh, write the definition here u of minus n minus 1 is equal to 1 for minus n minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 or you can write minus n greater than or equal to 1 or I can make it positive then it becomes n and minus 1 then I need to change the sign and 0 for n greater than minus 1 and you can see the waveform like this. So, from 0 to infinity that is uh, if n is greater than minus 1 n is greater than minus 1 means 0 onwards 0 to infinity the function magnitude is 0 that is meaning and if n is less than minus 1 from minus 1 to infinity the function magnitude is 1. So, I need to change this uh, summation from minus infinity to minus 1 and function magnitude is 1. So, 1 into is a raised to minus n. So, I need to make it positive. So, in order to make it positive uh, I need to change this minus sign. Okay, This is n is equal to minus infinity. So, I need to change it to positive means I need to change this n. So, I can uh, rewrite like this uh, n is equal to 1 to infinity it becomes z raised to n. Okay. You will get uh, for both the cases you will get the same answer. So, I can write uh, it becomes uh, it is 1 to infinity uh, 1 to infinity means I need to use uh, the formula uh, n is equal to m to infinity k raised to n is equal to k raised to m by 1 minus k. So, here it is from 1 to infinity. So, I need to write uh, m is equal to 1 here. So, the formula becomes z by 1 minus z and one more thing uh, in the question there is already a minus. So, I just forgot to put that minus. So, minus here minus and minus. So, if you rearrange this you will get z by if you multiply this minus I can change this denominator like this it becomes z minus 1 and about the ROC uh, if you want to calculate the ROC here you can apply this result only when modulus of k is less than 1. So, here we got uh, modulus of z is less than 1. So, this is the condition that is ROC is modulus of z less than 1. Okay, so we can see the ROC in a graphical way. Okay, uh, or I can plot here. Okay, uh, here we can see that uh, this is a point uh, one, and you can construct a circle here. Modulus of one means this is a circle with a radius one, and the ROC is ROC is less than 1 and modulus of z less than 1 means interior of the circle. So, the ROC means inside the circle. So, this region 
is indicating the ROC region of because this result is valid only when modulus is at less than 1. The same question uh, we can do in one more way and uh, as based on the again uh, the standard result and so this question already we discussed in uh, lecture 2 I think in uh, lecture 2 we discussed uh, uh, this question and in this question again uh, it is minus e of minus and minus 1 ok and now we need to find this return so we can apply this particular result and in here a is equal to 1 so again uh, you can say it becomes z by z minus 1 and the ROC you can write modulus of z less than 1 so in this way also we also we can find out the answer if you know the standard result you can apply that ok uh, now we will uh, discuss another question uh, here you can see that is no minus sign ok uh, it is simply u of minus and minus 1 means if you compare with the previous uh, question uh, if it is minus a raised to n u of minus and minus 1 you will get z by z minus a now in place of this uh, it is simply written as u of minus and minus 1 so there is no minus means uh, you can write like this if it is minus u of minus and minus 1 and uh, it is a transform you can write it is said by it is at minus a and the ROC is modulus of it is at less than 1 uh, in this question uh, if it is minus u of minus and minus 1 you know that is it is at by it is at minus a in place of uh, a uh, is actually 1 so you can write like this ok but uh, in this question uh, there is no minus sign ok so you need to multiply uh, here with the minus 1 so now it becomes u of minus and minus 1 so also the result I need to multiply with minus 1 ok uh, so here also I need to multiply with minus 1 so it becomes z by 1 minus z and the ROC is again modulus of is less than 1 ok so this is the answer and uh, and I will give you some uh, practice question uh, in this lecture and you can try these problems based on the previous uh, lectures you can work out this question and you can check your knowledge level in this particular question how whether you can solve this ok we will discuss the answer in the next class uh, if you feel any uh, if, if you need any help you can watch this lecture 2 for this particular problem ok it is minus 2 raised to n into u of minus n minus 1 and also we need to find out the ROC and this will transform uh, here in the second question uh, it is 2 raised to n into u of minus n minus 1 again uh, if you need any help you can watch lecture 2 and 3 and this third question is 5 by 6 the whole ratio n into u of n minus 6 by 5 the whole ratio n into u of minus n minus 1 uh, to solve this problem you can watch lecture 2 and the next lecture uh, we will discuss the solution